Hello and welcome to Heroes number three. Today I have with me my dear friend Conrad, whom I've visited and uh, shared quite a few beverages with, and he has an amazing story. Conrad is the founder and the was the president of uh, Sound Industries. He is currently the president and founder of this company, making Exshore the um, Tesla of the oceans. He has an amazing story. He's been uh, trying to be a pro uh, surfer in New Zealand. He has been working with Burton. He made uh, the first fashion headphones with uh, Wesk. Um, and looking forward to this amazing story. And the story really goes about music, about the sound. So first of all, welcome to today's uh, podcast. Thank you. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm trying, to I'm trying to do these, these intros to like, like a full pro uh, podcast star. I'm not really succeeding yet, but it will be there soon. Sure. You know, we'll get there. So, Conrad, tell me about the amazing journey of, uh, of Scaling Sound, the company that you founded, a company that uh, has been giving millions and millions of users headphones and, and speakers under the brands of Adidas. Marshall, um, Urban Ears. So how do you scale sound to sell more than 20 million headphones from just an idea? Well, you know, we got in the business at the stage where the phone uh, went from pretty analog to digital. It became smart. So we saw that everybody was going to have the music in their pocket and uh, be able to consume media in a totally different way on, on the go, basically. So with that, we can see that it's gonna be a super increased demand for headphones. So we kind of catched the wave uh, of making the smartphone uh, available to humankind. And uh, we knew that we can go in and win the war with uh, the audiophiles because that would take us like 10, 15 years because Bose and Sony and these guys, they had like 50 years of experience. But what we did know is that they looked like cooks. So we could go in and win the design war pretty easily. So our strategy was to sell to the people who were listening with their eyes. It's all about when you build a brand, it's all about uh, using as many sentences as possible and using, building a, a relationship with the customer is basically, uh, you know, using their senses and get a love and feel uh, together with them. So when I walked into a store uh, in the beginning of sound, and I heard two guys saying like, ah, oh, I think these red ones are uh, sounding best. And it wasn't even plugged in. That's when I called the factors and hey dudes, you know, we need millions, just fucking get started. We're on the way. Awesome. I, I remember having a heated discussion with you about innovation. And um, at the time I was making the dash, like the most crazy thing ever and um, with my team and, and it's still the most advanced true wireless headphone today, even though it's quite old. Um, but you said to me, Nikolai, sometimes the right innovation is just a microphone. Yes, I mean, we were the first ones to, you know, pay that extra 40 cents to have a microphone on. But when we put on the microphone, you didn't have to walk with your phone in the hand and have your headphones on. You could talk directly with the phone in the pocket. So that gave a much better uh, user experience. Uh, so that made us uh, different from everybody else. And probably one of the key things that actually made uh, us so big. 
I love this story, um, but that's still a story. And now you're in a completely different field making these amazing boats. I'm looking forward to try them out one day um, because I do like sailing and this is going to be an amazing experience. Exactly. It's like sailing without wind, you know, the <laughs> when you get out on the sea without noise and fumes, it's just amazing. And that is what I got into because I love the sea and, and what would we be without the oceans and the water? We, all life comes from there. So uh, after this sound trip, I just had to uh, get into this and, and, you know, help save the world in, in a good way. I, I love that. So looking at saving the world in, in at least this picture, um, going to to predict what's going to happen in the future within hearables, so headphones and speakers. Um, what are your thoughts? What do you think? Well, you know, as I said, we started off being just fashion and, and uh, you know, the coolest cat in, in, in the field. But for the future, you know, you need to be like a sheep herder. You know, you have to be good in design you have to be good in fashion and make trends you need to look at the different subcultures because in the future there is so many subcultures due to internet everybody is getting the knowledge for free so you don't have to pay these big schools or you don't have to be only uh, you know born with that talent you can actually learn and and if you have that uh, crazy head and just banging it to the wall and trying uh, you you um, uh, will succeed. Uh, so uh, uh, so I I I think that um, I think in the future we need to combine these different uh, things of uh, design, technology, the brand, uh, the different materials, also the the functionality and and. Uh, uh, how it's uh, fitted, you know, uh, you, we all had the headphones that uh, you got the bad headache after one hour. So it's a combination of being the best in, in all these different categories and fields. So uh, I think that uh, uh, if you, if, if you, uh, if you can combine this, you are going to be the winner and that sounds easy. But the big war is going to be about technology because humankind is really getting into a stage where you're having a second brain. Uh, remember 50 years ago when you knew like a hundred different phone numbers uh, or maybe 25 years ago, you know, I'm getting old, so I don't know, but you had some phone numbers in your head. Today, you don't have anything of that. And... Um, everything is in your phone and you, you, you barely know your next meeting. You barely know a lot of things that you used to know uh, in your head. That is in the phone. Then came the smartwatch. But what is more than hearables? Because hearables is closer to your brain and it has much more access of uh, uh, the neuroscience. So if you start to think of the neuroscience, what's happening in that field, together with what we have, I think that is the future you will, will see happening within the five years, because everything is going so quick now. So I remember a um, very interesting discussion um, some while ago, and, and I think we came to a consensus of frictionless experience but a lot of friction in brand, uh, that, you, that you feel the brain, that you're part of the brain, that you are uh, out li or living the brain while the experience itself has to adopt to you. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, the, the, I, I always like get carried away, but uh, the, 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 the big thing is like, how do you gonna uh, restrict your brain from thinking all the things that you are actually thinking? You know, you, we, we all, you know, been undressing people and we've been thinking about uh, things that you maybe shouldn't think. But uh, think of is the, if these things would be outspoken, because uh, I do believe that 
we maybe don't have to talk in the future. We could actually communicate in a different way by, you know, waves in, in, in neuroscience. And um, it's, it's all going to be like, how do you uh, split it, uh, these kind of things? I remember you saying increasing the bandwidth between people. Yes. Um, I mean, it's, uh, it's an interesting uh, thinking. Yeah, because we're kind of limited to our speaking and our gestures, but yeah, and, there's and, so and much speaking, more. Speaking and gestures, you know, that's slow. You know, you can think a lot of things compared to much quicker compared to what you can say or what you can write down. I completely agree also in terms of misinterpretation of cultural um, and and uh, experience uh, between people like just like you you two Swedish I'm Danish there's not that much difference but there's a lot of difference anyways and and if you look at a broader perspective from here to South Africa or from Chile to Korea we are very different and we're very happy about that but it would be awesome to be able to communicate more of that yes and uh... You know, when, when, you, when you start to look deeper into these kind of fields, it's, uh, it's, uh, a little, it, it, it's like scary interesting, to say the least. Well, Conrad, thank you for from going from very much in the matter of, of scaling and growing a business and, and how design and brand matters into the crazy maybe in 100 years future we might never see it um but uh but it'll sure be interesting thank you so much nikolai you know i'm so happy to speak with you and good luck with your business and all you guys out there go and get it it's out there well thank you conrad and that's a good message for someone who has been building and setting business for quite a while and being very successful so thank you very much thank you Thank you.